I'm Janet May. I head up Paris Smith Planning, a team of planning consultants and planning lawyers. The video clip you're about to see highlights one of our projects showing how our planning team work in partnership with our clients from their inception of a development idea to guiding them through all the phases of the planning process. I asked BBC broadcaster Lena Samuels to speak on our behalf to Rod Bransgrove, Chairman of Hampshire Cricket and the Aegeus Bowl, about how our approach to his project worked for him and his team and the benefits that he felt he received for his business. I hope you will find the video you're about to see of relevance to you and from it you will have an understanding of how we can help you with your project. There's a lot to think about and I would imagine different planning applications to put in at each stage. How did that work? Well, yes, sequentially. Well, we've been making planning applications, I would think now, for pretty much all of the six or seven years that, um, that Beyond First Class has been a current plan. Um, as I say, the first one was to install the world-class floodlights and that was a challenge in itself given that uh, we discovered that we're on the flight path for an airport, not Southampton incidentally, but Bournemouth, um, which of course meant working very closely with the stakeholders to make sure that uh, they were on side with our plans. And thereafter we've, um, we've had various plans for new stands and new uses. And of course the fact is you also have to get planning permission to stage major events like concerts and shows. So um, there's been plenty to keep them busy. The just waits for that, dives it down to third man, and he moves on to uh, 83, the total here, 157 for two uh, New Zealand. The important game here, of course, uh, for uh, England uh, in this three match series, having lost the first one, they need to win this here at the Aegeus Bowl. A lot of planning, a lot of complications, a lot of hurdles to overcome. What role did the team at Paris Smith Planning play in all of that? Well look, to be really successful, um, your planning advisors need to be almost a member of your in-house team. They need to work with you as partners, otherwise it simply won't work. Every time we contemplate a new activity on this site, before we even do anything formal about it, we would get an informal view from Paris Smith Planning about what they think are the hurdles to this particular activity taking place. That generally saves us a lot of time and money later on. So Rod, what would you say was an important ingredient in the relationship with the planning team at Paris Smith? Well, obviously you need to have confidence in the, in the technical ability of, of the company, its personnel, but at the end of the day I think personal relationships are also very important when determining you know, planning strategies. And, um, and I've known Janet May at Paris Smith for many years now. I've always found her to be most responsive to the, un the requirements of our business and very understanding of what our strategic aims are. In that respect, we've developed over a long period of time, um, I would like to think of a high mutual regard, which really does fashion the way that we go about our planning activities. 